Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about summer makeup that can handle the heat. I just got back from a trip to Hawaii. We all know how incredibly beautiful Hawaii is, but it is also very humid and hot. And these are the products that I took with me. So whether you are a beach lover, an outdoor adventurer, or you just want sweatproof glam, these products are going to work for you. So let's dive right in. Let's start with two of my most important non-makeup products that I will use no matter how short I am on time. This is the Paulo's Choice Vitamin C Booster. It contains 15% ascorbic acid. Now we all know vitamin C has a lot of benefits, but one of the key benefits is that it is a powerful antioxidant. And when you wear this with your sunscreen, it will help protect your skin from sun damage. I love the watery consistency and quick absorption of this booster. It's super lightweight and it feels like nothing on the skin. The next product is, of course, sunscreen. I love a good waterproof option, especially when I'm outdoors for a while. My holy grail has been Kose Sunket UV Gel. I have repurchased it many times and it has been with me on countless adventures. It's a dream to apply. A gel formula that spreads easily, it feels super cooling and hydrating and sinks in beautifully, which makes it easy to use the recommended amount. And that is very important. Now let's talk about makeup. My go-to for a quick and easy look is a good concealer. Last year, I discovered the YSL All Hours Creaseless Concealer and I tend to reach for this when I know I have a long day ahead of me, I will be out most of the time, and I cannot be bothered by touch-ups or concealer creasing under my eyes. In my experience, it truly lives up to its name, no creasing, even without powder. It has a natural finish and adds a blurring effect on the skin, which makes my skin look fresh and flawless. This is one of those luxury purchases that's worth the splurge in my opinion. Speaking of splurges, let me know if you guys would be interested in a video dedicated to luxury makeup must-haves that are worth every penny. I have a few favorites that I would love to share with you. Now, if you want sheer to lightweight coverage, just enough to even out your complexion, these are my top two recommendations. First is the Color Science Face Shield SPF 50. This is a tinted sunscreen. I have it in shade 10. It's sweat proof, waterproof, and super lightweight. The coverage is light enough to cover some redness and blemishes, but it still let your skin shine through. If you have very sensitive skin, this is a good option because it is a mineral sunscreen. It does have a slightly dewy finish, so I like to set it with a touch of powder and it held up pretty well throughout the day. The next option is Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. I feel like this product was designed for people with combination to oily skin because it works so well to control oil and shine throughout the day. For my dry skin, I can only use this during the summer months when I don't have dry patches to deal with. Having said that, it is a perfect option to travel with. I use a dense brush to apply it all over my skin. It provides sheer coverage, so you can use it as a primer underneath your foundation or tinted moisturizer. I like to wear it on its own on top of my moisturizer and sunscreen with a little bit of concealer. Even though it controls oil, it doesn't leave you feeling mad. It sets down to a natural finish and gives this smooth and filtered look to the skin. When I'm wearing this, I can skip setting powders and sprays. If you have oily skin, give this one a go. For medium to full coverage, when I'm going for a more glam or polished look, I wore this Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. You can tell by looking at the condition of this bottle that it is a well-loved product. This lives in my travel bag, and if I'm allowed to only carry one complexion product with me, 
it is going to be this foundation because it works so well in any condition. The best part about this foundation is that it genuinely looks like skin, even when you try to build up the coverage. Dior claims this to be water and heat resistant, and I can attest to that claim because I can get all sweaty and it will not move at all. I wore my sunglasses most of the day, and you know how most of the foundation's creases where the sunglasses sit on my nose? But this one stays put. I love it so much. All right, everyone, let's talk bronzers and blushes. This is a category where I can seriously overpack. Since I was in Hawaii for three weeks, I gave myself a little slack and brought two to three options in each category. For bronzers, I took a cream and a powder. For cream bronzer, my longtime favorite has been the Charlotte Tilbury Sunkiss Glow Bronzer. This has been a favorite of mine for ages, so I knew it's gonna work. The best part about this bronzer is that even though it is a cream product, it is very long wearing. This applies and blends like a cream, but it's set down as a powder bronzer. I have the shade medium with golden undertones, which gives my skin a natural sun-kissed look. If you're struggling to find a cream bronzer that can resist humidity and heat, definitely check this out. For powder bronzer, I love the L'Oreal Soft Matte Bronzer in the shade 350 medium. I have talked about this in my drugstore favorite video. The formula on this is so buttery soft and long lasting. It feels way more expensive than it is. The finish on this is matte, but it is not flat or drawing, and it blends beautifully. It's perfect for pairing with cream bronzers too. I am seriously impressed with the quality, especially for the price. Now let's talk about blushes. I brought three different formulas with me. The first one I have to rave about is the Danessa Myrex Yummy Skin in shade Bellini. It's a stunning, vibrant poppy peach that instantly awakens my complexion. On many days, all I needed was concealer and this blush for a super quick and easy summer makeup look. The formula is similar to the Danessa Myrex Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder that we just talked about. It applies like a cream but sets down to a powder finish with the same oil and shine control properties. So even if you have oily skin, you can totally rock this cream blush in the summer heat. Next, I have an oldie but a goodie. This is the Benefit Benny Tint. As you can see, I have already used half of the bottle. It is a rosy pink shade and something about this blush shade feels so timeless, feminine and delicate. I love to use it both on my cheeks and on my lips for an easy monochromatic look. It is a stain so it lasts all day and I highly recommend it. Last but not least for blushes, I had to bring the Givenchy Prisme Libre Loose Powder Blush in the shade Organza Sienna. This shade has hints of red, orange and brown that gives a beautiful sunburned flush. The color payoff is amazing, so I recommend using a blush brush instead of the puff that it comes with for more control over how much pigment you want. This way you can build it up for a bolder, sun-kissed look or keep it light for a subtle warmth and definition. Moving on to setting sprays and powder, these two setting sprays, in my experience, can make any makeup look butch-proof. First is the Kali Ray Surf Proof Setting Spray. It is a multitasking product for me. I can use it as a primer before foundation or tinted moisturizer, and then again as a final setting spray. It not only hydrates my skin and gets rid of any powderiness, but it also seriously extends the wear time of my makeup. The only thing that I don't like about this is that it smells like coconut, but the fragrance fades away quickly. 
The other setting spray is the one size mattifying waterproof setting spray. The main difference between Cali Ray and one size is that Cali Ray gives a natural glow, while one size is all about that matte finish. This one is waterproof too. So I reach for this when I know I will be sweating a lot or if I'm spending more time at the beach. If you have oily skin and you love a matte look, you will definitely want to check out one size. For setting powder, I took my trusty Huda Beauty loose setting powder in the shade Banana Bread. This is such a finely milk powder, so it's perfect to set your makeup without looking too powdery or chalky. Next up are the lip products. This is another category where I can totally overpack, so I limited myself to four for this trip. First up is the Tatcha Kisu Lip Tint SPF 25. This one was a total surprise for me. You know how some SPF lip balms have that weird sunscreen smell and taste? Yeah, not this one. I was also impressed by the color payoff and how long it lasted. It didn't dry out my lips at all. Just comfortable wear with good sun protection. The next three products are all lip tints. All of them are super long lasting, so you don't have to worry about reapplication. First up, we have a Korean lip tint by Laka. This is a gorgeous nudie brown that looks amazing on my medium thin skin. The formula is incredibly moisturizing, so my dry lips love this. It adds a pretty glassy shine that fades away after eating or drinking, but the tint itself stays put for a long time. Next, I have the Dior Lip Tint in the shade Natural Deep. This shade is perfect for summer. Dior Lip Tints have this cool minty feeling when you first apply them, but it's super subtle and goes away quickly. It's also a matte stain, so you can build up the color for a more intense look. Last but not least, the Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oil. This one is a glossy stain, but the gloss fades almost instantly after application. Don't worry though, the stain itself lasts a long time and the formula is totally non-sticky, super comfy on the lips. I love this rosy mauvey shade. It goes well with a lot of makeup looks. Alright everyone, last but not least, eye makeup. For the most part, I love keeping things super easy in the summer. My go-to is a little bronzer or a blush blended on the lids paired with a swipe of mascara. Speaking of mascara, this Dior Show Waterproof Mascara in the shade 698 is my all-time favorite. It's a beautiful brown shade that's not too wet or clumpy. So it's perfect for adding volume and length without going overboard. Now, when I want to glam things up a bit, I reach for this Kofi waterproof eyeliner in the shade Cheeky Chiku. This shade is a perfect neutral brown. It subtly defines my eyes and make my lashes look fuller, but in a way that's still super wearable. Plus, it glides on like a dream and it's totally smudge proof and sweat proof. So it's a must have for summer. All right, everyone, that wraps up today's summer makeup essentials. Let me know in the comments what are your ride or die summer makeup must have. I would love to know if any of the products I mentioned today catched your eye. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you in my next one. Bye!